Hey, it's He-Man's Eye in the Sky. Here's a look at the brand new Mattel Master Universe, Masterverse, New Eternia, Stratos. The once majestic mystic mountains now lay scattered in ruined shards across the oceans of Eternia. Stratos reforms Avion as a nest of island outposts, protecting ships from pirates, marauders, and worst of all, merman and his sub-oceanic monstrosities. Through hardship and turmoil, Stratos proves to be the most resilient of new Eternia's warriors. Before we look at wings and things, let's go ahead and get Stratos measured here from the new Masterverse line. Taking the tape measure right to the very top of his head. I'm going to flip it around first because I like to get things measured first in inches. Stratos, right at the very top of his helmet, stands about seven and a quarter inches in height, or the figure's about 18 centimeters tall. And then to compare Stratos with a Master Universe New Eternia figure, here's what he looks like with E-Man. Oh, E-Man looks so horrible. Well, maybe not necessarily his body. Granted, I did actually remove the shoulder pads. The rest of He-Man's body is fine. It's just not working with this head sculpt. And that's one of the head sculpts that came in clue with the figure. I think Mattel struggles when it comes to outside of doing classic head sculpts. Obviously, they're doing a great job with that. But they've yet to actually land a perfect, more modern looking He-Man. The one that we get here with the Master First New Eternia He-Man just doesn't cut it for me. Here's what he also looks like with the Master Universe Origins Stratos. Some of the colors have been changed, so of course you can see like his feather wings, for example, on the original Origins line would have been blue. They now have decided to do red on this release. They have taken some of the feather cues that would have been on the straps here of the original Origins Stratos and instead given him a feather collar instead on the body. If the feather collar BTW doesn't actually cut it for you either, you can remove it. Simply just pop the head off of Stratos, decapitate him, and then just take the collar piece off. I'm not sure whether I'm going to leave it on because it does bring a little bit of that feather idea that he would have had in the original figure. It does bring a little bit of that in there other than just the bandolier that he has around his shoulders. Now, again, the figure also comes in clue with some accessories, some of which I'm not going to display with the figure, but obviously I'll show you how they work in this review. First of all, Stratos comes included with some flying hands. <laughs> Not the hands are going to be flying, but a kind of more relaxed hands. I guess if you wanted to have them in a flight pose. Granted, the figure doesn't come in clue with flight stands, but I guess you probably could find yourself a flight stand from another figure line, and you could have Stratos taking flight. But he comes with some relaxed hands that easily can be swapped out from the existing hands that we see right now. But that aside, the figure also comes included with this tiny little scepter. I don't know if you would consider this a scepter or mace. I don't know if I would be swinging this for the wrist that it could break the stone on the end, so I'm willing to say it's a scepter. Uh, it is nicely painted, granted, in gold. And you've got, again, the green there represented on the end, sort of like an emerald. Kind of looks a little like an egg. This can be fit into his hands, actually either one of his hands with the hands as they are right now. Simply just take the, the scepter and pop it into his hand. Pretty easy. Uh, there's no other place, by the way, on the figure that you can store said scepter. So you either have to display him in his hand or you have to display it elsewhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the only two choices I can give you. The figure also comes included with a flight mask. More specifically, one that goes around his nose or around his face. Kind of ironic the fact that he would actually need a breathing mask. Because all other iterations of Stratos, he generally is flying fine. Not necessarily needing this. This actually looks like something I would expect to see from a G.I. Joe than anything else. It's molded here in a very dark blue plastic and can be fit over top. Over top is really not the best way to describe it. It's not so much going to fit over top of Stratos. Rather, it's going to fit from below. Uh, what you do is you take this, and while you were try to fit this over top of his head, there's just so much plastic happening here. It's actually just more easier to actually remove the head, divorce it from the rest of the body, pop this on first, then take Stratus's head, and then just pop it back onto the ball joint. And providing you can get that all in there, don't worry, it's not lined up just yet. You can always line it up afterwards. That's what Stratos looks like then with the mask. It, it's funny, it looks like the eagle from the Muppet show. You know the one that's always just generally ticked off and not having a great day? It looks like the eagle. What was his name? Somebody can let me know down below in the comments section. It does kind of look like the eagle, though, from the Muppet show. Then you're probably asking yourself, well, what's going to happen now with this hose? Well, if you look a little further down, Stratos has himself a fanny pack. The only way I can describe it, there is a hole there on the front, and then you simply just take the hose and you plug it into place. 
And then I guess that's the thing that's providing oxygen for Stratos to breathe. I mean, it's okay, but it's not really the way I would likely display Stratos. I would much rather I instead actually revert him back to the way his original retro toy line would have looked. So I think I probably would be doing away with this altogether. Not to mention as well, I'm sure it's intentional that it happens to look like a bird. Anyways, we can go ahead then and remove the head because we're obviously going to be taking this off. And I guess while we're also doing this is removing things, you can easily then take the color piece off. So if this is just driving you batty, the fact that you actually has to have that, you can leave it off altogether really if you want to and just pop this back into place. I mean, again, like I kind of like it because it does bring a little more of that feather detailing that normally would not be there. I mean, he's got, he does have it sculpted here to the top. So in that sense, at least it does sort of replicate the original toy would have had. Obviously done here then in blue instead of just the red. Now, if you're not happy about the fanny pack, I'm not, I'm not liking the fanny pack. What you can also do too, is you can flip this around and locate here in the back. If you just detach these straps on both the sides, obviously you're going to want to do it on both sides. This one's a little harder. I don't know why, for some strange reason, it's harder to get off. But if you detach these, longer fingernails certainly would have helped in a case like this. But if we detach one, basically you're just going to unloop this like that. And I don't know why now I'm having a harder time to remove. The, there we go. Detach it from the other side and say bon, bon voyage to the fanny pack. We could go ahead and just remove that. That's not coming back. I can tell you that. We're going to go ahead and just detach this. Like I said, it's pretty easy to remove. And underneath that, you have more what a more likable, more vintage looking Stratos body. I mean, again, he's got the, like the belt area. It's colored differently, granted. He's got a more feather foliage there too, but at least it looks a little bit more like a classic looking Stratos. The last thing that's really missing then from Stratos being fully displayed is he comes included with the jet pack. The jet pack is blue, but it's not the same matte blue that they would have used here for the bandolier or his armor piece. It's actually more of a shinier blue and it looks really good. I like the look of that. It plugs in pretty easy. In fact, all you just do is you take these square pegs, line them up to the square holes and pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. You just plug that in place and it stays pretty good in place also as well. And that's going to be the way I'm going to be displaying Stratos. Just not really 100% sure if I'm going to be displaying him with the feather collar. I mean, yeah, it does bring a little bit of extra color. I guess it doesn't look so bad without it either. For the head sculpt on Stratos, classic looking Stratos, we got ourselves the, the full foliage. Speaking of foliage, look at the beard on this guy. He kind of looks a little bit like an Amish person. Although I don't know if Amish people, I guess if he's taken flight, providing he's not using a jet pack, that would still be following under... Uh, Amish rules, where again, you're not supposed to be using technology. I think I have seen some Amish people on cell phones. <laughs> I didn't really want to go over and start questioning why they were on phones, but I'm sure anybody that knows a little bit more about the Amish culture could probably tell me down below in the comments section. Now, the thing also about it is that he has these little hooks there. Well, I guess we're talking about technology. He has these little hooks on the sides. So if you did have yourself uh, this, his little scepter, I guess there is technically a place you could plug this in. It's not really, I'm, I'm guessing the way it's supposed to be, but you could take this and for all intents and purposes, you could slot this up. Although it's really not a lot of space to work with and I just ultimately dropped the scepter on the floor. Oh, bananas. But anyways, he does have these little hooks there on the side. I don't think they serve any other purpose, really. I guess you probably could then also take this, plug this on the back. And if you wanted to keep your fanny pack at least in tow, I guess there's that as an available option too. It kind of looks like it's there to catch the poop that comes out the Okay, let's stop talking about that. So there, I guess there's that as an option as well. Or I guess you probably have it a little bit further up also too. Let's just take that off for the time being and stop talking about pooping. Just remove that on both the sides. Let's go ahead and take that off completely. Um, technically also, you could go in and remove its feathers. I mean, they're pretty loose already. There are two halves, so there's actually two parts to it. Darker feathers make up the majority of the longer piece of the plastic. Then the shorter end of it is actually more of a lighter red. I'm not sure really why they didn't use the same color. I mean, again, when you looked at Stratos, the one that we looked at before, it was really all one plastic piece from the part that actually attaches in the links all the way up his arm was also one, just one piece of plastic and it was all the same color. I don't know why they couldn't have just used say like this color right here and carried that up here. So it was consistent. It's strange to have this dark and then yet have this light, but he does have it. And technically, yeah, you can remove these. You would just simply just pop the hands off and just slide these off all together. Um, they also do attach technically too. So you can have them separate also from one another, but that's going to just make these even looser when you're wanting to have them on display. 
Uh, overall, like again, a nice looking body on Stratos is generally quite furry. You can see to the surface of the plastic. I think likelihood they probably have used this. I haven't picked up yet the Beastman, surprisingly. I've seen that. That's one of the only ones I've actually seen locally in the wild. I think he actually uses a very similar type, if not identical body type to the uh, Beastman. We'll look at him eventually in an upcoming review. But again, like there's not really a lot of paint here. It's pretty much just all the molded gray plastic. Again, like all the parts that make up his body seem to be really only just the plastic alone. Like again, like this part is about the only thing that I could guess has been painted. Well, again, like it just doesn't make any sense to me why they wouldn't have just met, made it consistently the same red. But anyways, the feathers do look good. You got two layers of blue here. Top layer is more the lighter blue. Bottom layer is more the darker blue. And nice, again, sculpting to the feathers. And again, Stratus in this case does have bare feet. Does have peg hole means, uh, although he doesn't actually have a display stand that can attach onto the figure's feet. He still does ha have that as available option as well. For the articulation here on Stratos, let's start things off with his head sculpt first. The head rotates all the way around. It does look up only to that, to that much. It looks down quite a lot better, actually. And it also can rock back and forth as well. As for the arms, even though he does have really large shoulders, he can still successfully pull off either a flight pose, again, if you have yourself a flight stand, or he can give himself a big, he can give you a big giant Stratos hug. He loves to give hugs. You can take those arms, you rotate them all the way around. Stratos does have a bicep swivel. Figure does have a double hinge on the elbow. And that's probably one of the reasons why they made these as separate pieces. Again, like if you wanted to, you could detach these, but they made them as probably two separate pieces. So it was a lot easier to actually bend the elbows as opposed to one straight long piece of plastic. Uh, the hands, don't want to forget about those, do rotate all the way around. You can hinge them also back and forth. Upper torso is on a ball joint, although it doesn't, it doesn't, it moves more this way than it does kind of up and down is a little tighter, at least on this figure for me. Figure does have a waist swivel. The legs do split out on very large ball joints. You can see there. Legs go forward, legs go back. There is a three quarter of the way swivel up the thigh there. Double hinge on the knee. There is technically articulation, although normally it would be serving more as a boot for another figure. For Stratos here, it looks like literally somebody just cut his calf in half. Just realized I rhymed that. Figure, uh, figure's feet move up and down, and there's also a nice ankle pivot. Yeah, short of actually not sure whether I'm going to decide to display this guy with his feather collar, I think at least by stripping off some of the things like the silly fanny pack, I think he looks a little bit more like his original Origins, or for that matter, really, his original retro figure. They have changed the colors in this case. So again, like while he would have had the straps here on or the original figure in red, they've decided to do it in blue. And I actually like the blue a little bit more. The red on the feathers also work better, I think, to kind of mirror the color that he has for the helmet. I'm still not really sure why they didn't keep the colors of the feathers the same. But overall, not a bad looking Stratos. It was Sam. Sam the Eagle from The Muppet Show. And granted, in this case, Stratos looks less like Sam the Eagle because he doesn't actually have that breathing mask on, nor does he have what I feel to be a really ridiculous looking fanny pack that attaches onto the lower half of his body. I think it looks a little more ridiculous myself, but I do like the idea that Mattel at least gives you available options that if you're not crazy about it either, just cut it right out. You can detach it all together on the back of his body and then just remove it all together. At least he does have a finished body torso underneath it. One thing you may notice also as this figure spins around on the rotisserie is that I've taken the scepter and attached it onto the one of the pegs on the back of that jetpack. Though it's probably not supposed to be there, I guess there is a one workaround place to actually store it if you don't want to display the scepter in his hands. For me at least, short of actually still not I'm still on the fence as to whether I want to display this guy with the feather collar. I do like it at least with all of these larger scale figures. Anytime we usually get a case like here from Mattel where they have these extra body parts, armor or anything else they actually add on to the existing figure's bodies, I do like that nine times out of ten you can remove them. In the case of Stratos, all the things that were added to make him quote the new Eternia looking Stratos ultimately were all things I removed anyways. And uh, I'm probably not even going to be putting them back onto the figure. Now, if you would like to put them on the figure, all the power to you. But I'd much rather have Stratos on display on my shelf with a very mediocre looking He-Man, but at least looking like his more classic self. What do you guys think of Stratos? Let me know down below in the comments section. Is this a figure that you've already picked up for your collection? Is this a figure that you're planning to pick up for your collection? Let me know down below in the comments section. Certainly as well, if you enjoyed this video, want to hit with a like. If you're loving the content you guys are seeing, 
and certainly on board to see what else is coming your way. If you haven't already done so, make sure you're doing a two-step process. The first step is making sure that you're you're ensuring yourself that you're subscribing to the channel. But second of all, the probably the more important thing too, is that you're also turning on the bell notification. It may seem like an unnecessary second step, but that second step ensures that you're going to get reminders every single time a new video posts. It's definitely going to be a lot more Mass Universe stuff coming your way. So if that's also the kind of thing that you guys like to come back to this channel for, just know BTW, FYI. Why am I abbreviating things by letters alone? FYI, we are going to be looking at some more Mass Universe stuff. Definitely coming your way. So, always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.